Hello guys, welcome to Fufufu TV. My name is Kwame Chumisi. Do you need help creating your Facebook ads? Do not worry. Today I'm going to share with you the strategies and tools I normally use to steal the intelligence of my competitors and also the big brands out there, okay? So these tools helps me a lot. So if this is something you want to learn, please do not go anywhere. Watch till the end and I'm pretty sure you'll learn a thing or two from today's tutorial. So without wasting much time, I'm going to quickly head onto my PC and show you guys how this is done. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first tool is called Facebook Ads Library, okay? So I'll quickly come into my Google search and I'll just type in Facebook Ads Library. You can do this on your phone as well as your PC, okay? So I'll click on the first link I see here, Facebook um, ads library so when you come to the search ads tab here yeah the first um, tab you see here you can either search by location or you can just go all countries so you, let's say if you live in Ghana you can quickly just go Ghana Ghana then I'll select Ghana yeah in the second tab I'll just select all ads as you see here yeah then you can search by keyword or by um, your competitors and um, business name okay um, so for instance let's say if you want to search for ads for UTV let's say um, UTV is our competitor and we want to look at the sort of um, Facebook ads they run you just type in um, UTV here then I just go enter okay so when we go enter this is going to show me all the ads UTV is currently running okay all their active ads so launched February 2022, as you see here, you can go filter and just filter down. But when we scroll down here, we'll see all the Facebook ads UTV is running. All the Facebook ads UTV is running. So for instance, let's quickly just choose one. So this is a sponsored ad. Let's quickly choose one. So this one, for instance, we can go see ad details as you've seen here. Yep, and it's going to give us all the details as to um, the sort of description they used, their call to action and the rest, okay? So you can just go see ads as you've seen here. It's going to take you to how their ads is showing on Facebook, okay, on Facebook. So you can use this to do a deep dive as to the product you're selling or a deep dive as to what your competitor, how your competitors are running their ads so you can store their intelligence, okay? And replicate the same thing for your business. Now, so when we come back here again, I'll just go all countries, for instance. Oh, sorry. All countries. The ad category, I'm just going to select all ads. And I'm going to do a deep dive into um, this popular brand um, called Shein. So all the ladies might know Shein is a huge online store that a lot of ladies buy things from. So I'll just go Shein. Yep, and then I'll just select um, the first link that comes. So this is the Shein brand, okay? They sell a lot of fashion items. They sell a lot of items, yeah. So this is gonna open their Facebook page. And when we scroll down here, it's gonna um, show us all the active ads they are running. I wanna show you guys something here. So what I normally do is, um, I scroll down to see um, how many times they've repeated a certain um, ad, okay? So when you come down here, let's say this for instance, this ad you see here for instance, they've got like 50% of blah, 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 okay? So when we come here, when we come down here, it shows that they've repeated this ad 30 times. You see where it says 30 ads, use this creative and text. They've repeated this ad 30 times. So this shows me that this ad is converting a lot. That's why they've repeated this ad 30 times. So I'll just go see ad details. As you've seen here, yeah, you can play the ad to see um, the sort of video they use, the sort of heading they use. Um, you can also go to like shop down and look at their landing page, the sort of landing page they are using for this ads, okay? I'm not going to go into details, but this is a great tool you can actually use to search how your competitors are running their ads. What I also normally do is I normally scroll down to see how um, their oldest ad as to how, um, how they are running their ads, okay? So if they've got one ad that has been running for a long time, that means that ad is doing... Um, it's converting for them. That's why they keep running that exa exact same ad. 
So just use Facebook Ads Library to do a deep dive on your competitors. We can also go um, Nike and see how Nike runs their Facebook ads. So I'll click on the first link. Yeah, so this is Nike's um, Facebook page and we'll be able to see all the current ads they are running, okay? And how many times they've, they've repeated a certain ad. So as you see here, this certain ad, they've repeated, they've created several ad types yeah, for this same ad, okay? And they've repeated this ad six times. So this means um, this ad is converting for them a lot. It's converting a lot um, for them. You can scroll down and get a bit of inspiration from Nike, okay? Then you can replicate this. You can copy and paste how they did their description, how they did their um, head, uh, um, up, um, their ad herdings, and also the sort of images they use to run their ads. I hope you get a gist of it. So please um, use Facebook ads library to steal the intelligence from your competitors. Okay, the second tool I also use is called Campaign Ideas Generator. So Campaign Ideas Generator is also by Facebook, okay? So if you need help creating your ads, this tool is really, really good. So you just type that into Google, then I click on the first link I see here. This is a great tool and this is going to help you a lot as to the sort of images you should use, the sort of um, ad description you should write for your Facebook ads, okay? And again, this is from Facebook itself. So when we scroll down here, where it says I have, you can select the sort of niche you are into. So for instance, I'll go, I have, I'll just click on the automotive and let's say I have an e-commerce, okay? So financial service, retail, restaurants, travel, they've got a lot of categories here consumer goods if you're selling something so let's say i have an e-commerce store i'm going to click on the e-commerce so i have an e-commerce business and would like campaign suggestions for okay so you can also target um a certain event let's say easter christmas valentine's day and the rest okay and facebook this smart tool is going to um, show you how you can create your ads to get great conversions okay so you've got Valentine's Day here, wedding season, they've got tons and tons here, okay? But I'll just select any time of the year because we want, we want to run our ads, let's say, today. So once you select that, then go get campaign ideas as you see here. I'm going to click on that. Then we scroll down, okay? So it's, it's now going to group this into um, four different tabs for us. So we've got the campaign ideas, ready to go ads data and insights and resources. So when we look at the campaign ideas, as you see, it's giving us three different ideas we can replicate for the sort of products we're selling. Okay, so you can come down here and have a read. Use organic posts, something like this. You can go show all images and the rest. This is a great, great tool, guys. Again, when we come here, we go to the ready to go ads. This is like a tab I normally click on. Ready to go ads, when we scroll down here, e-commerce ad pack okay so it's going to show you the sort of images that will convert it's going to tell you to download but i don't recommend you download i recommend you create something similar in canva okay and use for your ads it's also going to show you how to write your ad description as you see here sign up for then the name of your brand then group subscription to receive an exclusive code to get your first month for free okay so facebook is going to suggest to you the sort of um um ad description you should write for your e-commerce platform they've got tons and tons of ideas here you can use when creating your ads okay they've got data and insights here so this data and insight is also powerful you can select by a region okay so let's go um, let's say if we are in africa i'll come to the region i'll just select africa you can select the sort of industry um, you're in, the sort of people, moments, campaigns, and platforms, okay? You can select all of these, and Facebook is gonna give you as to how people think, okay? So as to like the sort of um, age, age group you should target for the sort of products you're selling. Okay, so this will give you like great insights as to um, how people think 
or how people act when they um, when they are shopping online okay so you can target this audience okay when it comes to resources too they've got tons and tons of resources here to help you create your Facebook ads. E-commerce resources, they've got tons, tons here. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I highly suggest you go to Campaign Ideas Generator, and it's gonna help you create your Facebook ads. Okay, yeah, so please check out Facebook um, Ad Library and also Facebook um, Campaign Ideas Generator to help you do a bit of insights and to also help you mold the ad you creating for your audience now the last one is the the sort of strategy i actually came up with okay i normally go to facebook and when i see any sponsored ads what i do is i save this sponsored ads and i've created like a folder in my saved section okay so without um, talking too much i'll actually pick up my phone and I'll show you how I do this. Then I just go on Facebook, as you see in here, I'll click on my Facebook tab. Okay, so when I go to my like um, Facebook feeds, um, I keep scrolling down and with um, what Facebook algorithm does is, um, if they see that you always click on a certain ad, they'll start showing that a um, similar type of that exact same ad to you, okay? So what I normally do is if some ads is performing really well, I save it into my saved section and also into a folder I've called Facebook ads. I'll quickly show you now. Yay, so this is one of the Facebook ads from Khalid Hamadi here. So whenever you see something that has got sponsored underneath, that means it's a Facebook ads, okay? Yeah, so this looks like an interesting Facebook ad. So when we come down here, it's got 10 likes and it's got eight comments and it's got 2.6K views. So I don't know how long He's been running this Facebook ads for but just for the benefit of this tutorial um, I'm going to show you how I normally do this so um, Khalid Hamadi so let's say if this Facebook ads is performing really well I normally look at how many likes it's got how many comments it's got and how many views it's got okay so if it's got a lot of um, likes a lot of comments a lot of views then I can this tells me this Facebook ads is performing really well so I normally come to the three dotted lines you see at the top right corner I click on that three dotted lines. Then I select the, um, the first tab, which says save video. Okay, so I just go save video. I click on that one. And as you can see here, I've got um, several collections as to the sort of things I save from Facebook and come back to this post later. So the first one you see here is called Facebook ads. Okay, so I've created a folder called Facebook ads and I save every Facebook ads I see on Facebook that is performing really well. Okay, so that's what I do. So if you don't have this tab, you can just go new collection. You can click on new collection and can just give the collection a name. Yeah, so let's say um, you can also go this by products. Okay, so let's say if you're selling ladies bag, you can just go um, ladies bags bags um facebook ads okay then i go i just go create okay and as you can see here it saved this ad into my um, ladies bags facebook ads so let's say if i'm scrolling down i've seen i've saved all the facebook ads i want to save if i want to get to the, all the collections i've done yeah okay so i just go to the three dotted lines the three dotted lines here you see here at the top right corner I click on it then I click on saved as you've seen here so I click on the saved okay so when you come down here the top section is going to show you all your most recent saved and um, all the saves you've done okay but when you come to the collection side as you've seen I've got ladies back Facebook and I've got Facebook ads so I quickly go into my Facebook ads collection I go in there and this will show all the Facebook ads I have saved. All the Facebook ads I've saved, okay? Yep, so we can keep scrolling down and let's say done for you ads for just $97, normally $3,000. So this is something that is really catchy. Okay, so if I want to look into how this guy created his ads, I'll go into the three dotted line. Do not click on it because when you click on it, it's going to send you to the landing page of the app Facebook ads. So I just go to the three dotted lines on the side. I click on the three dotted lines and I go view original post. Okay, view original post. I click on that one and this is going to show me the original post as to how they constructed their Facebook ads. So 
when you see here he's got a chance like a long description okay describing what you get when you get his facebook ads his um his um, offer the offer he's offering so this is the sort of image he used really catchy yep then we can actually go and look at um, when we go to shop now we can go and look at the sort of landing page he's using so here you go guys this is my three the three tools or the three strategies i normally use when creating my facebook ads okay i normally use these tools to steal the intelligence from my competitors and also to steal the intelligence from ads that are really doing well on facebook and i replicate this with the ads that i create and trust me the conversions i get from these ads are amazing i suggest you do the exact same thing if you love this content please show some love and click on that subscribe button ring on that notification bell so you do not miss out whenever i release a great content my name is kwame chumisi i'll see you in another tutorial bye